Rotary 100, interview one, take one. Thanks for coming in today, Luis. Could you start by telling us a little bit about how Rotary has helped you? Um, I was thinking about this. Um, Rotary has helped me in many ways, but I would say that the idea of planting a seed in somebody early on, and um, I, me, for example, I was wondering if I did even make it into college, how would I pay for it? And just the idea that there was scholarships out there for people like me or where we came from, um, regardless of like family background, et cetera, um, was really encouraging for me early on. Um, so, can you repeat the question? Sure. How has Rotary helped you? Yeah, yeah. So besides all the additional help that I got through the mentorship programs, through the through the um, um, sorry, I'm kind of blanking. Um, uh, I'll just start again. My sure. bad. Okay. So um, the idea of planting a seed in somebody. Um, and then kind of nurturing it to grow and give fruits has been something that Rotary has really demonstrated through me, especially when I first got introduced to the scholarship incentive program. Um, I believe that's what it was called, um, where it tiered up every year through high school and we were given check, check ins with mentors and progress reports. All of that helped me see how something that could be planted early on and then nurtured can grow to be something bigger and then have a bigger purpose. So um, that main thing, besides all the additional support throughout the years, um, was monumental for me. Yeah. Great. What was most surprising or beneficial about what Rotary was able to provide you? Um, I would say exposure. Um, so I, I feel like at times we might live in a, in a bit of a bubble. Um, maybe our nuclear family or the neighborhood we live in or the school we attend. Um, but through Rotary, uh, I was able to meet different people with different backgrounds, entrepreneurs. And I've always had a sort of entrepreneur spirit. So just being able to see that there's like-minded people that group together and then have additional uh, motivation to help others besides just focusing on their own businesses was refreshing. And then also, you know, a motivation for me is, you know, there are people that gravitate towards each other. And then once we gravitate towards each other, it's also great to know that there's connections that can last further than just a scholarship program past college, maybe into the business stage. Um, for example, like where I'm at now, um, I see that I can have a group of people where I could possibly reach out to uh, in support. And what message would you like to give to Rotarians? Um, you know, not to not to repeat myself too much, but planting that seed early on was huge for me. So um, I am still gravitating towards the Rotary now, and it's been over I don't, I don't even know 20 years or what have you since. Um, I was introduced to Rotary. So if we can get the younger generation or the younger people are at early stages of their education and show them what are the possibilities um, if you pursue your, your goals, set out on the right path, surround yourself with the proper support system, and then even later on you might be able to pay it back to others. Um, I think I would encourage Rotarians to keep that in mind and then um, also that not all people have the resources that um, we would wish for our children and through the support that I received uh, with the program along high school before appli applying to college and all of that it was so huge for me and I felt like it opened many doors that I am now very glad I walked through. Um, so I would encourage the um, further, how, how would I say it? The, I, would, I would encourage programs be geared more towards uh, the younger generation and then seeing how there is still a group of people 
that choose to meet and for the purpose of helping others as their own business owners. If that makes Great. sense. Great. Yeah. Cool. Twenty years is a long time. Is it? So perfect transition to do you want to tell us a little bit more about what you're doing now? Um as I mentioned earlier, I feel like I've always had an entrepreneur spirit, you know, like whether it came to selling or trading, uh, collectible cards or little toy cars or what have you, to now um, I'm very happy and blessed to say that I have a family business that we were able to finally piece together after a lot of planning and years in the food industry. Um, we have a little food truck in San Mateo and um, we've had it for about three years now. Uh, so it's a lot of hard work, um, but it's great knowing that it's ours. And uh, just seeing it grow and seeing people come back and keeping, uh, letting us know that, you know, positive reviews or what have you, um, it's, it's, it's just very rewarding. And then from there, um, along the way, I, I got my business degree um, at Santa Clara University uh, with the continued support of uh, different Rotarian uh, mentors that I've had. And um, that business uh, degree has helped me turn that food truck into a separate business now. Um, so while I'm still part of the food truck industry, I also lease moving trucks and um, RV uh, rentals. So. It's a little bit of a different industry, but it's still in the transportation um, sector. So we are excited to, to see that piecing together all the support throughout the years, the education, all the mentorship, all the um, uh, fellowships, uh, the different volunteer works, the different volunteer works um, have all kind of helped build me to a sort of person they can now comfortably say I have my own business and I am running it successfully with um, the vision still large and then still motivated to continue forward. And always remembering that, that I would love to pay it back and, and um, groups like Rotary kind of encourage me to, to, to keep going forward and that we are not alone in this. Great. I think we've got what we need. Any new details? 